Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to lock cells in Excel. Now when I say lock cells in Excel I mean that you do not want other people or other users of the workbook to make changes to those cells that have been locked or to the worksheets that have been locked. So to lock a cell you need to understand how it works. There are two properties in Excel. The first property is locking a cell and the second one is protecting a cell. Now by default all the cells in Excel are locked and when I say locked it means that that property has been enabled. It's not that you cannot make changes, you can but only when you have a combination of both these properties. So if a cell has been locked and a cell has been protected then only can you truly disable a user to make any changes to those cells. So if I don't want a user to make any changes to these cells that have the data, I want to lock these cells which is there by default and I need to protect these cells. So let's see how it works. The first thing I would show you is how to lock this entire worksheet. So to do that I simply need to go to review and here I have this option protect sheet. Now since all the cells are locked by default, all I need to do is I need to protect this sheet. As soon as I click on this icon, I have this protect sheet dialog box where it will ask for a password. If you want to give a password, you can put it here and then when another one, anyone wants to change this or make changes to the worksheet, then they'll have to put in the password. And you can also decide what all can be done with the logged cells. So in this case, some, uh, a person can select a locked cell and an unlocked cell but they cannot make any changes to it, they cannot delete cells, they cannot uh, insert new cells, they cannot format it. If you want there are a couple of options that you can use from here. I would click OK and as soon as I click on this you would notice that um, a lot many options are now not available in the ribbon. You can see that these options are not available to me because this worksheet has been locked. Now if I go anywhere and I double click on it you would see this dialog box, this prompt, which says that the cells or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet because this has been protected. If you want to unprotect it, simply go to review and click on this. In this case, it simply unprotected it, but if you have a password applied, it would ask for a password. Now, what if you don't want to protect this entire worksheet? What if you only want to protect these cells? So to do that, the first thing you need to do is select all these cells. You can click here or you can press Ctrl A. And now I would press Ctrl 1 from my keyboard and it opens the format cells dialog box. Here I would go to protection. In this tab you can see that all these cells are locked by default and I would unlock these cells. And now I would click on OK. Now what I have done is I have unlocked all the cells in this uh, worksheet. Now I would specifically select the data that I want to protect and again I would press Control 1 and I would again go to the protection tab and lock these. So what I have done is all these cells are, are unlocked or all these cells have the lock property disabled but only these have it enabled. Now when I go to review and I protect the sheet only these cells are protected because these are the only cells which have the protection as well as the lock property enabled. I can come here, I can make any changes here if I want, I can type anything but if I come and do the same here, I will not be able to do it because these have been locked. So this is how you can either uh, protect an entire sheet or a part of the sheet. Now here I have a simple example where I am calculating uh, EMI using these three data points which is loan amount, interest rate and tenure and then using it I use the PMT function to come up with the EMI. Again, if you want to selectively lock cells here, which means that I want to lock these two cells because uh, these two are uh, something which has been fixed by someone else, maybe the government or the bank, and I only want the user to change this amount and see what the EMI is, but I don't want the user to change these two. Again, the same thing would apply. I would select this entire worksheet, press Control 1. I would unlock these cells, then I would come here, select these two cells, and I would lock these. And now when I protect the sheet here, you can see that I can make changes here. I can make these changes. The formula would update, but I cannot make any changes here. I cannot change the interest rate and the tenure. 
So this is how you can selectively protect sheet or unprotect sheet. Now, what if I don't want the user to see this formula in the formula bar? So I have this cell and maybe I also want to protect EMI and I don't want the user to see this part here. So let me first do something. Let me first unprotect this sheet and let me enable the lock property for all the cells. So this is how you would get it and you will start from scratch. And now if I want to lock this and I also want this formula to be gone, I would first select all the cells remove the lock property then I would select this cell and I would enable the lock property as well as the hidden property here so I would click on this uh, checkbox as well and now when I protect this sheet you can see that I can make changes here if I want to but this cell is protected and you cannot see the formula in the formula bar so the formula is gone as well so this is another layer of protection where you do not want your formulas to be seen by the users so this is how you can uh, use the protect and lock property together to disable users to make any changes in the worksheets or in some of the cells in the worksheet. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.